How's it going, YouTube? My name is AR, then your host. Let me do that again. Hey guys. Hey guys, my name is. A How's it going, YouTube? I am your host, AR, and today we'll be unboxing some studio monitors. The Alesis Elevate 5 Power Studio Speakers. We've been waiting for these for like two weeks. Previous speakers that I had were PreSonus, the smaller version. I'll put it in the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But um, I actually got them off of like an offer up so they finally blew out. They sounded terrible. Every time I was trying to mix some of my songs, it was not coming out the way that I wanted it to come out. So I'm super excited that these came in. They're not the over the top price type of studio monitors, but they were in the price range that we could afford because we are just starting and we definitely are building We ran around, I think it was like 150 bucks. We got these off of Sweetwater. Um, uh, let's see, we have a thing right here. Uh, they go for retail about $300. They came all the way from Fort Wayne, Indiana, I think. So we're super excited about this. Um, thank you, Sweetwater. We are not sponsored by them. We just happen to use their uh, services so thank you guys for your guys's thank you for your business yeah they actually look a lot bigger than I thought and I'm like new to a lot of this stuff so like I didn't know like even like ones that are more expensive you, you have to buy them by themselves like one speaker I was like what the 40 watts per channel, so per speaker, and in total they have 80 watts. They're high density wood cabinets, so they suppress unwanted resonances. They have elliptical tweeter waveguides to optimize dispersion and stereo imaging. So these speakers, I guess they're good for any type. They're good for gaming, they're good for a home studio. Uh, they're good for video editing, um, for gaming. I think I already said that. Even for mobile devices, just for playback and stuff. So we are going to use these for uh, video editing and uh, home studio. So, so they have separate high and low drivers with crossover frequencies and a silk dome tweeter that provides smooth, clear highs with frequency crossover, which provides smooth, clear highs. So I guess it's supposed to be, I know it's not gonna be like these, you know, thousand dollar monitors and stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to see how these sounds. I'm sure they're gonna sound a lot better than the pre song as well, but who knows? I mean, I don't even know if I got those at its best performance because I know I bought them used within a like not even a month or so of me using them they blew out and they were just peaking and cracking and it just sounded horrible it's just thank you guys for tuning in uh let us know if you guys like these videos uh be sure to like subscribe and all that fun stuff and without further ado I stop talking and I guess let's you know. you know, I saw other YouTube guys getting hate because they couldn't have that. I don't know where my box cutter went though, so this is gonna have to do. Cool, so we have a manual guide. We have a kind of like little styrofoam feeling, not styrofoam, but like foam kind of feeling. So these are the two quarter inch cables and RC cables and also a power cable. Yeah, they actually came with a box within another box within another box. It's just I had taken the box out already, so um, it definitely comes with more packaging now. 
they definitely did better. I actually ordered some monitors before these. I'm not sure which ones they were, I can't remember. But they were a little bit cheaper and then they came in, they just didn't work. The TRS inputs didn't work. It was, it, it just was not cool. So I had to return it back and then I was like, you know what, dude? I'm gonna try that Sweetwater app. And so this is my first time ordering from Sweetwater. So, um, so far so good. You know, their packaging is on point, you know? Oh, this is a really nice look to it. Here's the wave guides. Let's see. So here's number one. Here's a monitor. Oops. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> So here we go with monitor number two. So yeah, these got a really nice sleek look to it. They're about like, I say a 10, little five pound weight to it. Probably a little bit more. We have all the inputs there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so we have uh, TRS cable, we have RC cables. We have for the power input, and also we have a little volume knob in the front. We also have uh, for 3.5 millimeters uh, for headphone jacks. Yeah, it also has a bass boost on here. Oh, I mean, these aren't supposed to be like the best, best speakers, but you know. So the next step, for us is to actually connect these. And I have my little studio kind of right here in the place. I'm gonna put it back up here. I'm gonna set it up. And um, so, yes, I'm gonna pause, cut. Um, it Sometimes I catch myself, this skin is worse. Anything for me? Is anything for me? Cause I pass it out these fool walls. It's hard to make me see. It's hard to make me see. 